In the world and setting of Battletech, there are many glorious and truly mighty machines of war. And then, well, there's the urban mech. But, well, it's what you wanted, so I guess we're going with that. Well, got to be honest, the urban mech is probably one of the most beloved mechs for two reasons we'll get into. Firstly, it's a unique mech with a very narrowly defined purpose. It's a fantastically designed, dedicated combat platform for militia or planetary defense forces. It's also a rather good buy at 1.4 million sea bills for a 30-ton mech making it an attractive, affordable choice for people who are building an army on a budget. An army that doesn't mind being very, very, very slow. Secondly, well, there's the memes. Oh god, the memes. Fuck it, let's just roll through these. Look, there's memes. Here's, here's more memes. More memes, more memes, 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 memes. If you look for Battletech memes or even do an image search on Battletech, there's going to be a lot of urban mech-centered content. You see, the urban mech is like a pug. Derpy, small, and full of character. But hell, I suppose I had to give it the full tech stocks Battletech treatment. So buckle up. Here we go. In 2675, Orcus Industries designed and developed the Urban Mech to be a cheap, easily produced mech for urban combat and defense. The marketing goal was to have this mech sold to the Star League Defense Force for the purpose of urban defense. It should be noted that this was Orcus Industries' first and only battle mech design. As a relative outsider to the manufacturer of Battle Mix, Orcus decided to do things their way and build something pretty damn unique in the process. From 2675 until the destruction of its assembly lines in 2837, the sole builder was Orcus's Marcus facility, after which manufacture was picked up and or stolen by the industrial powerhouse Hellespont Industrials and the Capellan Confederation which was still mass manufacturing the little bastard until 3081. It should be noted that the urban mech for all of its strangeness was fondly received by militia and the planetary defense commands and found a place in the SLDF, every successor state and many pirate and mercenary orders. Let's go on to see what makes an urban mech an urban mech. The Urban Mech is designed around the Republic R chassis, which is unique to, you guessed it, the Urban Mech. In fact, everything Orgus ever made was pretty much linked to the Urban Mech program. At 30 tons and carrying 6 tons of armor, which is respectable considering that all armor is concentrated in a very small, squat, ugly, stupid trash can. I mean, professional mech words, yes. For its size, the Urban Mech is also jump capable. It has 11 heat sinks, and the base model of the UM-R60 carries an AC-10 autocannon and a small laser. The only downside to this little bastard is that it is slow. How slow? Well, assault makes tend to tread forward at a modest 40 to 50 kph or so. The Urban Mac flat out does 32. Which doesn't sound like a whole lot. That's because it isn't. However, the Urban Mech is designed for one purpose, city fighting. In a city, the Urban Mech doesn't need to go fast, it just needs to creep and hop along, get in position, and deliver a nasty knockdown blow to any invader. And in that role is where it excels. Also to note is that the Urban Mech has very few interesting design quirks, that keeps it engaged with and win against much tougher opponents in that setting. Firstly, the urban mech is a low profile mech, meaning it's a lot harder to hit. Secondly, it has an extended torso twist arc, enabling it to fight while facing any direction it pleases and trundling along. Being in production for a very long time leads the urban mech to having loads of variants. 
because when an opponent automatically assumes an urban mech is an unimaginative weapon system, somebody will modify it to surprise the hell out of them. Here are a few notable examples. The UMR-60L replaces the AC-10 with an AC-20. Because what's funnier than a trash can that cores an assault mech in a surprise attack? The UMR-63 upgrades the aging urban mech with Lost Tech, giving it an LBX Auto Cannon 10 and a small laser that pulses. The Draconis Combine interestingly upgraded the urban mech with the UMR-68, which replaced all weapons with an MRM-30, which surprised the living hell out of Clan Ghost Bear. UMR-70 incorporates a Rotary Auto Cannon 5 because somebody probably found it to be hilarious and nobody in the Federated Sun stopped them. The UMA-4 replaces all weaponry with an Aero-4 and an ER medium laser. It also squeezes the pilot into a modified smaller trash can cockpit something or other and can barely carry 10 rounds of ammunition. But hey, it's now walking artillery for city fighting, because why not? In summation, the urban mech is an often overlooked, severely meme-worthy mech of note because it is actually very effective in a very small niche. It loves to surprise bad dudes many times its size, and it is insanely affordable. There, I covered it. Are you happy now? Gah? Let us guardian make the credits happen. Ugh, kill me.